Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Libra. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why my nose is runny. How are you? Welcome to my channel. Yeah, it's been days. Sorry. Um, it's your mid, uh, no, is it mid month? Yeah, it is mid month. Um, let me fix this. Uh, so it's gonna be, um, the crossover read. How are you? Same, um, intuitive. Um, I feel like majority will have a reset kind of a moment, um, just because of all the planets transiting now. You know, it's one thing when Venus is there, it's another thing when Mars, and you know, it's like, that's the whole shebang. Um, and then, you know, you kind of feel like it's a struggle because there's too much. I don't want it. You know? So, but I've been thinking, um, chance I'll do just one specific for the Libra. Um, meaning a separate video. Okay. If I have time, just for you. I'm not going to do all the Zodiac, but it's more going to be of transit um, and how it's going to affect you. Just for Libra, all right? So, you know, and it would be based on Ascendant and you can use your Moon sign also. Okay, because I, I follow Vedic Sadira. So I'll do that. Mm, but um, before that, okay, but make sure if you want it, you know, um, support your own read, meaning it's just like hit your own like. I don't care about your like, it's your read. It's not my life, okay? <laughs> so so if you want to get it, then just comment there. It says like hashtag yes Libra. <laughs> okay, so put it down in the description so we know, okay? And then the, you know, the team will give me a feedback, okay? Because, you know, I don't care about anybody who's there who complains. It's a comment, okay? So you guys have fun over there. So reset moment. Um, you want things to just be okay. You want things... I think you just want things to be just fine. Um, you're lowering down your expectation. Can be with the person. Um, you're lowering down... Um, not that you're giving up. It's more just... It's just like, well, if I can just be okay for this season, I'm not asking for... You know, a six carat diamond ring, you know, so like I'm just asking maybe for a little bit of a text message that, you know, this person cares about me. You know, the finer things, the little things. And this is where you're putting your energy. Yes? Mm -hmm. Let's see. The Wheel of Fortune. I think it's a, that's not just a six carat, that's a, okay, that's a hell of a diamond, just saying. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so I just want something simple, and then the first card is Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. So the way it works is when, you know when you just let go and allow universe to work for you? Oh my god, it's crazy bonkers, okay? There's gonna be a lot of expansion coming um, November because uh, Jupiter is going to your third house, your actions, okay? The way you think. Okay, because yeah, it's going to go to your third house. And of course, someone here will going to ask, as always, when I get the feedback from my team. Well, it, I'm a sun in, uh, you know, it's like, look for your ascendant. Because once I talk about the planet, it will be applicable to the ascendant. It's astrology, not tarot. If I'm talking about the tarot, it's applicable to your sun. Okay? So, let's come back. Okay. Um, you're going to go, you know, everything's going to go into your third house. In... Third house, you know, it's like it's our action, it's our choices in life. Um, and you might take a big opportunity all of a sudden here. Like you're just going to wing things. And says so like, you know what, I'm going to take a chance on this. Uh, you know, not because Jupiter is 50-50. It's just such a big opportunity for you to make this decision right now. Okay. So that's all. It can be about studies. Um, you know, 
I see here. It's also a product of how you build relationship around you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, just take it slow. Don't rush into things. Um, come into a sense of balance first before you grab this opportunity. Um, look into the fine fine line, the fine details. Um, Knight of Pentacles, uh, Turinian, of course. It can be someone, um, a Taurus coming back around, circling towards you. Yes, with the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, let's see here. I'm more cash in the mid month. So let's indulge, Libra. Is a Pentacles golden opportunity? And I thought we're taking we're taking things simple. Oh, I forgot. For Libra, simple is like this. <laughs> Because Venus is there, pleasure, right? You might wanna go shopping. Ace of Pentacles is a shopping card, you know, because like, you're gonna be swiping those coins. So be careful, slow it down with the Knight of Pentacles. Because Wheel of Fortune, you get this abundant energy um, and your feeling is just like, yes, I can, yes, I can. Slow down your horses with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Nine of Swords, okay. You probably will, uh, you know, it can be the other person, as always, or this is you. Um, having some sort of sleepless nights with regards to a particular opportunity. Um, I feel like you're stressed because of the opportunity, not because it's negative. It's just because it's such an important thing for you. Um, it can be about starting all over a relationship. It can also be settling down, dating, um, and you're stressing about it. Don't, you know, don't stress with dating. It's the last thing that you need to stress. Yes, last thing. You know why? I'll tell you what's something that is crazy stress. Health. So equate that. When you have a healthy body and you know it's SHIT storm with regards to your dating, at least you have a healthy body. Okay? Now, of course, you know, to be sensitive, if you don't have a healthy body, then hopefully you get one, right? Okay. Because um, the Nine of Swords with Ace of Pentacles, there's nothing to stress about. If life is good, I always say this is the mantra, right? Life is good, life is good. Live in denial, life is good, okay? Life is good, yeah. Three of Pentacles, um, it can be, uh, you know, um, repairing your home um, situation here with the Three of Pentacles. Um, also being a student and learning a new skill. You could have sleepless nights because of, um, I feel like your trouble between the past and moving forward, building a career or establishing a new home. Um, you're doing some repair with the Three of Pentacles here. You're putting a down payment also on a house. Um, Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. You're putting a down payment on an apartment, uh, real estate. Um, just be careful on those things because I don't know what you're stressing about. If you don't have no coins, don't invest. Ten of Cups. Okay. So, um, by the end of the day, I feel like you know there's someone who loves you, which is good. I told you. Um, is it the past person? Is it the present person? Is it the new person? It's a person. Okay. So deal with it with the how you see it. It's a person. Someone there can even be just your family. Your family loves you and is very supportive in your endeavor right now. If you have kids or, you know, it's like they're supportive of you and, you know, vice versa. You could be very supportive of your kids here. Um, I'm not sure when is the season for going to college because you're going to have a, you know, like a, uh, an adult kid. Is that an adult? I don't know what you call that, okay? <laughs> you know, like you could have a kid who's going to college here and you're sending it, the person. Go and, you know, it's like follow your dream with a Ten of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Someone can be doing this to you. And of course, you as a mom or you as a dad, you're so stressed because your little baby is now grown up. Yes, little baby has been smoking weed and you didn't even know, okay? So it's not a little baby. Kidding, okay? Nobody's smoking. I didn't out your kid over here. Okay, no tea, no shade, okay? You can smoke whatever you want, okay? <laughs> but there's a devil. Sal, what are you doing to my, to my read? Ten of Cups with the devil card here. Um, your stress about someone's safety can be even your family. Um, don't be scared, like what I told you. Um, you're scared about um, working too hard. This new opportunity comes to you, but you will pay a price. What's the price? Um, exhaust, uh, exhaustion. It will, you will pay the price with regards to your health. See, that's why you need balance. Um, devil card shows imbalance energy um, before you go to the whole cheater. Uh, imbalance. Uh, it's always extra. So someone or something, you're putting so much love, so much effort, and then, of course, um, feeling uh, depleted. That's why you want to have a reset. Where's the reset? Ace of coins. Ground yourself. How can you ground yourself? 
slow it down. If you rush, you get to meet the devil. Okay, so don't go there. Eight of Pentacles. Maintain your focus. You'll be probably um, you will get such an opportunity at work, but man, you're gonna be a slave horse here. Yeah, you're gonna be. Mm -hmm. This is like overtime. Like you're doing overtime, overtime, overtime. Okay. And I said overtime, not hammer time. Well, if the coins is good, the coins is good. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Just don't, you know, get enough sleep, of course. Um, with regards to your matters of love, um, I'm not sure why I'm doing career finance with love with you. Seven of Wands, you probably have some sort of restriction right now. Um, it's like, I can't be disturbed. Seven of Wands with Eight of Pentacles. You're very focused on your health. Also, Eight of Pentacles is focusing on health. You're trying to get uh, a new person out of you um, because of what has happened probably in the past that you know the change already so you're ready for change here i'm seeing here yep and it's you mm, justice card mm. see i told you balance and you get the justice card as well devil is not balanced yeah mm. so be you um learn to balance love learn to balance career and everything goes well how easy is it it is no because I know you're not dating anyone. You love someone. You guys are not dating. You're about to. Ace of Pentacles. Because this person is taking so damn long okay, to come to your life that, you know, it's like all your hair has fallen already. It, it all turned white already before this person even make the first move. Okay, even though you guys know each other, that you love each other. Um, just because, you know, it's like things could have been a little bit shady between the two of you and then now you're ignoring it. But you're establishing boundaries with dating seven of wands because you realize i need to have some healthy space there you go your whole life in the what in the past 11 minutes and that's how we roll in this channel okay so link down there in the description box for the extended and also for personal services it's right there any questions um there's also one question read over there if you guys are wondering it's express it's called the express you get the answer um, if you have one particular question. Thank you very much guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.